Welcome back. If it has joined us, you're watching the news at 10 on Channel Television, coming to you from Lagos. A reminder of our major stories tonight. Tragedy averted in Meduguri as security operatives intercept suicide bombers in the Kasuan Shano area of the of Borno State. Nigerians continue to savour the joy of Christmas as they troop out to fun spots to receive gifts in the spirit of the season. Fire engulfs Makira Market in Yobe State, leaving property worth about 28 million naira destroyed. And massive search operation continues for a Russian military plane which crashed yesterday with 92 people on board. For more on our top stories and others, please visit our website, channelstv.com and on youtube.com slash channelsweb. You can also watch us on the go on your mobile device, log on to m.channelstv.com or download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS and Windows phones from their respective stores. Having the Channels TV and Channels 24 app will give you access to news and updates. You also have the eyewitness feature so you too can be part of the news. Just install the app and tap and swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu and follow the instructions to share those pictures, videos or news of happenings around you. And now to some eyewitness pictures. To begin with this one that reminds us of the season we're in, the eyewitness reporter wishes all Nigerians a Merry Christmas. We move on to a less pleasant picture. This is Ilepo Market in Agbado, Okiodo, LCDA of Lagos State, where buyers and sellers now do their business on the road, thereby obstructing the free flow of traffic. Our eyewitness reporter wants authorities concerned to look into this. Our third and final picture tonight is of a bad road on Independence Street in Edo State, where erosion has driven the residents out of their homes. Eyewitness reporter wants urgent action on this. Thanks for sending in those pictures. We appreciate them. In River State, children from different parts of the state converged on the court of the state government house for the year's children's party. Parents and guardians also joined their children for the occasion that was characterized by lots of fun and interesting side attractions. The host and wife of the River State Governor, Justice Suzette Wike, said the season presents an opportunity for love, forgiveness and reconciliation for all Christians. Christmas is a joyous time and that's why people share you know, gifts at that time. They show love to one another. They um, give forgiveness to those people that have erred. People who are in need, they try to reach out to them as much as they can. You know, and that's the only way we can show really that we're Christians and that we love God. Because, I mean, if we don't love our fellow human beings we see here, how much more God that we don't see in person. So um, Christmas is all about love. It's all about God's awesome love. And it's, of course, never failing. And we thank God for the opportunity of having having Christmas to celebrate and um, all children should use this um, as a time to reflect on their faith and to also learn to be forgiving, to be loving, to be cooperative, to learn to live in peace with everyone. Let's join Ibrahim Adra who is in Abuja who has more on the news at 10. Hi Ibrahim and Merry Christmas. Compliment of the season to Amarache and to all our viewers across the globe. We begin here in Abuja with the concerns being raised by some Nigerians over reported seizure of rice by men of the customs service from travelers during the festive season. But the Nigeria Customs Service and the police have been shedding light on the matter, saying the seizures are directed at smugglers of the product. Correspondent Linda Higbe reports. <laughs> It's a common sight at motor parks during festive seasons. Bags of rice lying around waiting to be transported with their owners to different parts of the country. It's no different this year as some passengers at this motor park in Abuja are traveling with what is a staple food in Nigeria. But this year, there are reports that some policemen and customs officials allegedly seizing bags of rice from travelers on the highways. The public relations officer of a transport company in Abuja narrates the experience of one of the company's drivers recently. One of my drivers called me and said, 
police arrested them along the road in uh, Ugolafo and threatened to hand them over to custom officers. Uh, but eventually when we talked to the police, they released them. What they said is that it is a foreign rice that is contraband. That they, that they are going to hand the driver and the passenger over to custom officers because the, the, the rice is not supposed to be purchased in Nigeria. Chimobi Okwara, a passenger in this vehicle, is traveling to his village to celebrate Christmas with a bag of rice in tow. Police doesn't have any right to harass me that I'm carrying rice. Because everywhere, everywhere is rice. We don't know whether they import it or it's Nigerian rice. Away from the federal capital territory to a motor park in Oiri, the Imo state capital, the story is the same. But to say the rice is contraband. If they venture see rice in your vehicle, you are in trouble. One bag of rice for you, for you and your family to consume. Custom will hold even two bags of rice. They will hold you to pay to bring custom duty for two bags of rice. In an interview with Channel Television, the police spokesman says the police is not authorized his personnel to seize rice from travelers. A policeman seizing bags of rice on what, on what grounds? Maybe, you see, I don't want to join issues whether it's true or not. Uh, people abuse their offices. And those police officers who tend to abuse their office will, will, will always be there with, according to our rules of engagement. Also, in a telephone interview with Channels Television, the Deputy Public Relations Officer of the Nigeria Customs Service, Mr. Joseph Atta, says its officials on patrol have had cause to seize bags of rice from suspected smugglers on the highways. He, however, says customs officials would not seize this product from people genuinely traveling with them to their homes for consumption. How to differentiate between rice smugglers and those genuinely transporting the products for consumption within the country is something which law enforcement officials may need to pay more attention to. However, some Nigerians say efforts to restrict rice from being smuggled into the country are better effected at the borders. Linda Akibi, Channels Television News. Property worth 28 million naira is said to have been destroyed by fire at the popular Magera market in Unguru town of Yobe State, northeast Nigeria. The market associations and witnesses said the cause of the inferno is not yet known as they just saw the market in flame late in the night after close of business. Another tale of fire incident has occurred this time in Yoba State, Northeast Nigeria. The debris you see here is the aftermath of Mekara Market in Unguru Town, which has been raised by fire. Among those who have showed up here are victims who are attempting to salvage anything, sympathizers, and members of the National Emergency Service running a professional eye on the level of damage. The cause of the inferno can only be revealed by the Almighty, as all of us closed our shops peacefully and went home that fateful day, only to see this devastation the next day. The good thing is that no life was lost. With God and determination, as well as support from government and spiritual groups or individuals, we can still succeed. The Nema State's representative says an intervention will come from the agency, but after a proper briefing by the market association and their independent assessment. When we've gone around we've seen the level of disaster, there are about 177 shops which were burnt down completely by the fire incidents. Food items, clothing, also worth 5 million were lost. And properties at the Mekara market, such as um, the food, the rake, and anything that they do, they, 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 they have quantified it worth 20 million. So by the special grace of God, we are going to the court back to the head office to know how to come to their aid and give them support. Concerned agencies have over the past weeks stepped up campaign on how to handle fire in a windy environment and particularly precautionary measures to adhere to, especially during this period of Hamilton. Hopefully, incidences like this can be prevented in future.
And when the news at 10 returns, Nigeria's economy enters fourth consecutive quarter of recession. That's on business news to join us again.